You've always become, I mean, you know, stay on the television thing, because like you say, you're, you're a private person. You don't, like, you, don't, you don't like your graph to be kind of like everywhere. So, so pole vault straight through to the early two, to 2000s, and uh, you're all of a sudden on Crime Watch. Yeah. That's great. So what the fuck happened there? It's just that stupid fucking Harry Potter trend. <laughs> yeah. well, the, the, was it Fog, Hogwarts? Was Hogwarts it? Express. Incredible. What? <laughs> what the fuck happened? <laughs> <laughs> Street Culture TV. Instagram UK Frontline. Beatbox created. And we need to talk about world music and street culture. Killer Keller Podcast. <laughs> Never bodes well. Ladies and gentlemen, Killer Keller Podcast, live and direct central London or as central as you need to be, choose to be, you want to be, come on baby, yeah, you've been here for too long, you don't want to be anywhere else. Get yourselves ready for the upcoming Hoddle Wars. It's time to graph punks up and get up with some NFT gaming. Also, big shout out to Chief Rocker Gear from streets to stage. Chief Rocker is the streetwear of champions. Hey, you know what it do. Uh, we've got a guest inside, a traveller, a national traveller, hitting the trains. Hitting the trains a conventional way and hitting trains other ways as well. <laughs> Crime Watch couldn't get him, but we got him. Pick up that. Hold tight. Speck in the building. How are we? Thank you very much. North oh. and quarter high. Stand up. Yeah, come forward a little bit with that microphone there, brother. How are you anyway? How's it going? I'm grand. Thank yeah? you very much. <laughs> yeah, you're grand. You're grand. doing all right. <laughs> It was a couple of pints before we kicked off. It was uh, discovering new uh, new means and ways to yeah. cut some edges off before jumping on. Yeah, late night last night. So was it late night? Very late, yes. Yeah, yeah. The travelling down didn't do you much justice. It Storm Barry, whatever it's called, Storm Barry. interfected my journey. So yeah, yeah. it took me 10 hours to get what would should be about a couple of hours. So, really? Yeah. <sighs> Stark, northern. That's Whereabouts are you from, my brother? Uh, Scarborough. Scarborough in the house, come if it, on. If anyone's ever heard of it. Scarborough proper, Fair, isn't it? Yeah, proper bumpkin. <laughs> yeah, too fucking right. Listen, we're all yeah. bumpkins in here, but, but big yeah. up Scar inside the building as well. Oh, yes. Thank you very much. All right, give us, give us an all your way. Hey, up, took, lad. <laughs> no, I'm actually from London, aren't you? No, you're originally oh, sorry, from Wolfram, to be fair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. You need to work on that accent. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Isn't that fun, isn't it? It's just, you can't take the jungle out of the cat. It was yeah. a lion's theme today. But yeah, you, once you're... Once you're uh, once you're fully fledged into the graph thing, it doesn't matter where you're from, does it? Nah, I, I don't mean, think so. 30 years, isn't it? You've been yeah. doing that, yeah? Yeah, 35, 34 years now. What's the scene? How's the train been, scene been treating you up in Scarborough? Uh, there ain't really a scene up there. It's, uh, it's old and spent. There's No, there's good writers up there. Mm. Um, my old mates and all that, they're all still there doing stuff, but it's still people active. don't really paint in Scarborough, no. the writers, so the scene there is a bit dead. Really? Yeah. So, w- so where do you where do you paint within the radius then? Yeah, I go through to Leeds, York. Uh, got a few places just around, just derelict places, you know. Just uh, we paint walls steady away. Mm. A few spots. Uh, got other spots for other things. Yeah. To, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't, no, I don't, I don't, I don't do it. it. I don't do that anymore. No, you don't do that. No. You did. <laughs> it's all coming out today on the podcast, uh, brother. Those look, days are gone. I think. I think when you're from those outer areas, yeah, you, the less heat, the better on those nice spots, isn't it? Oh yeah, you can't. One thing it gets noticed. It's massive news. Mm. Not like down here. Trains get painted every day, all over. Yeah, like loads of people painting loads of trains the same night. Yeah, up there, one train every three months. It's big news. You you can't. Paint trains all the time up there. No, no, no. And there's only, I'd say, it's 60 mile in between a couple of spots. It's it's not easy no. to do stuff. The mobility must be really hard at certain times. Well, when we were young, we didn't have cars. You know, you'd have to just get a train to somewhere, risk staying there overnight, sleeping rough. Just uh, sometimes you didn't get stuff, sometimes you would, and then you just have to stay out all night. Give me an example of how that gets risky. You know, because we're talking retrospect now. So, give us a just give us a, just a particular story where you're just like, well, not if only we had a car, but Jesus, like you know, the 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 elements we have to face to 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 make something happen. Yeah, it's just um, you hear about something. I mean, back then, you didn't have internet or anything. No. You, you didn't. We didn't have much contact with other writers because we were from Scarborough. No one wanted to know us. Mm. It didn't matter to the graph scene. Uh, 
We didn't have anything to give to other writers. Couldn't take them to spots or anything. Mm. There's a lot of writers got... They became friends because they could give each other things, you know, take each other to different yards or whatever, information. Mm. Didn't have, we didn't have any of that. We just had where we were from. So we'd maybe you'd look on maps, look in books, railway magazines, try and find out where there was other stations, where they keep stuff overnight. Sometimes you'd get a bit of information, maybe, but so you just risk it and go to a place, get a train there, take some stuff here to stay out all night, mm. and just risk it. That's like two separate bags: one one for sleeping and living, and one for the paint activity. Yeah, but I, ne I never went prepared. I just take one bag with painting and never took a change of clothes or toothbrush and all that stuff. No, really. <laughs> what, what if it rained or something? What if it like you know? I would have a coat on with a hood on, but you'd find somewhere to shelter. But you'd have to, like, you didn't know the places. Yeah. And when we got a bit older, we started checking places out first and sussing out how to get, avoid cameras, where to walk at night without being looking suspect or whatever, you know, mm. where to hide. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where you could stay all night after. Where you could, you know, you'd have your, you know, cameras or memory cards or something. You'd stash them anyway, so if you got yeah. pulled, you didn't have anything on you. It's, yeah, it's all learning, like, but it's, uh, there were good days then. It's funny because, you know, we talk about London and the scene. It's fruit. It's fruitful. It's, there's there's always something going on. There's always something, an attraction to keep, you know, the, yeah. the, the powers that be, you know, constantly looking right. left and right. Um, and as you mentioned, you know, there isn't there isn't that kind of um, uh, fruitfulness where... where no, nah, there are anything. But to be honest... And we're talking to to a global audience here that UK stories like yours are fairly fairly common, man. Like it's not it's oh, not yeah. out the remit that to yeah. most graffiti writers that they have to do what what you're talking oh, about. Yeah, yeah, you have to. I mean, you have to just find you have to find things out mm. yourself. But mm. I like that. Mm. I think that was part of the fun, mm. not having internet or like now, kids they have like people put pictures of themselves in yards to blatantly show what yard they're painting in. Mm -hmm. So then anyone who's starting, I want to find, oh, I'll just look on that account, oh, there's, I'll just go do that one then. Go and do that one, yeah, done. We don't have any of that. It was just, you, sometimes you get information, but not very often. It was always sussing places out yourself, find, trying to, I mean, there was a book, I think, we had a book that was like a railway book and it was of all the stations and yards and that in the UK. Really? Or it might have been in Yorkshire, I can't remember. So we got that, I can't remember how we got it. Look, you know, I just went through all the spots on there, went to di went to them all. Some we got, some we didn't. Oh, that's some crazy. We, some we didn't get and then went back another time and got them. It's like the Bible. Yeah. It was, yeah. Like, it, you know, it was expensive, you know, for us back then because we had no money. We were all on Dole, <laughs> all on King Cole. But how do you get a book like that? How, how, I can't how... remember. It was like an old book. It's like, I don't know how we got it. I don't know if someone got it on a train or something. I can't remember. Wow. It was it so long. We used to go in railway, go in W. H. Smith and look in railway magazines to so show you yards and stations. Yeah, yeah, the, the kind of geekery of a, a train spot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the, yeah. We always stood out there, just like twenty years old, looking <laughs> yeah. at railway magazines. Blit. <laughs> <laughs> it's one thing getting dressed up with a high vis for security. You know what I mean? We go. There's another thing getting dressed up like a train spot. Trying, like <laughs> trying to look for the magazines, right? <laughs> <laughs> Covert operations in uh, W. H. Smiths. Yeah, yeah so it's quite funny, like looking back, what we had to do, all the things. I don't know, big up yeah. uh, Yorkshire as well. Big up Snuck. Big up Des. Big up Miss. Big up all the. Uh, Big up all the crew, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you know... NKA. These, yeah, 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 totally. You know, it's just just lovely, lovely pockets of scenes that have really grown out, like really yeah. expanded. And the, the interaction and play between different cities... Oh, yeah, there's so much. There's Newcastle, Manchester, yeah. Leeds, Sheffield. Incredible. It's all over, isn't there? Like, really. It's, but you don't always hear it as much as London. My eyes are watering, like... <clears throat> No, that's all right, they can't see. It's pixelation for the nation. <laughs> pixelation for the graph nation. Uh, talk to me about that, because there, there is, it's almost like a a, um, a grid system in which people can can communicate, operate and, and work within each other's cities. Yeah. Like, that for me was, like, the best part about the UK graph scene. There's, there's, yeah, the network. The network was yeah, incredible, Yeah, I like the network, yeah. Yeah. Yes, you can go anywhere, can't you? You can know someone, have a contact. I like that. Mm. Most people don't have that, do they? No. Outside a graph or... I mean, maybe like... I don't know. I can't think of any of us. 
no. culture that has that. No, not from an artistic, creative no. place. No. Definitely not. What's your favourite cities to paint? Like, who 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 do you like frequent, frequenting with the most? Or ha- had done in the, back in the day? Who who did I paint with the yeah, most? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Think, NM Crew, uh, Slob uh, from Yorkshire, uh, Kister, Scar, mm. uh, NK, a lot, Hack and Ogre, uh, Dyson, uh, Dent... There's quite there's loads of people I've painted missed of. Yeah. Mm, <laughs> man, you guys got some fucking legends up out there, man. Yeah, we had a good scene. Yeah. It's not as good anymore. I don't like the graph scene now. Um, so the graph scene as a whole or graph scene? Well in Yorkshire. Yeah. Well not no reword that. I do like the graph scene. It's just it's there's so many young people doing it now that are like doing it just to be celebrities. Right. I right. get that like the Put everything on Instagram and they show everything. If you know what I mean. It's, yeah, graffiti should be. I like when I started graffiti. You just saw graffiti. You didn't know anything about the person that was doing it or anything. Mm. You know, you you could go through life never seeing them, mm-hmm. seeing the graph. I like mm. that. The yeah, not seeing them as in like seeing them paint, seeing it. Yeah, not like seeing, staring, it's got, yeah. Not seeing the personal life, seeing what they're doing at home, what outlines they're doing, uh, yes. what paint they're buying, what paint they just are delivered. Because that doesn't actually add any dinner. value. Yeah, yeah. It's you see all that now on Instagram. And I mean, I do it myself, it. but yeah, I sort of just fell into it. But I like the idea, the secrecy. What do you think? That, what's the pull in that that happening to graph? Is it just attention? Is it that people just want to? I think it's, you can be a celebrity now. Like when I started Graph, you just did Graph. In cities, people were known, famous. And you'd, but you'd see, like in London, you'd see the trains running. Mm. Other writers would see their tubes running or mm. their trains running, wouldn't they? So yeah. that's, that was all they needed. Because yeah. we didn't have that. We painted trains loads and no one ever saw them mm. but, that we know of. Like now, these kids start, they see... Writers on Instagram that are just celebrities, they've got 20,000 followers. Mm. They're, they've got a YouTube channel that people can subscribe to. They've got a big following, big, uh, like a fan base. Mm. Uh, all these young kids are just copying each other. You, you get these competitions, like who's the best graph writer? Mm. Comment below, who's the best graph writer? <laughs> 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 no, that, that ruins it, that takes the art out of it. It's like, yeah, of course it does. It's like music, you can't say who's the best artist are the best you can't Led Zeppelin better than Beatles you can't say that it's, it's personal simple. taste isn't it it's, it's like, a really you good might shout like someone's, yeah. you can like someone's piece or not like their piece but it doesn't mean hmm. someone's better than there's no there shouldn't, it's like pop charts to me the grass scene yeah. that's what it reminds me of all this rating who's who's the best and people that vote for it and then it's like well, oh, he's voted the best but who's actually voted mm-hmm. him to be the best people that vote yeah. The people that are proper artists, I don't think. You yeah, know, you know, yeah, 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 I do. And then by voting, you just, you're putting other people down as well, aren't you? Yeah. And there's, there's... I don't mind the battle aspect, I think. I, no, think... I like the battle aspect, but that... that um... Public vote kind of thing. Of yeah. Who's, who's, who's got the great uh, picture piece. Before. Yeah, and you don't see who's actually voted. It matters who, mm. who says, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a lot of group of 20-year-old kids that just started. And they're voting through whoever's the most up or the most yeah. fashionable. Yeah. I think that's, it's not right. Yeah, you're right. But I think it keeps us people, we're like underground really from all that. Like the old school graph, we just did graph. F- f- the passion of yeah. the drive. It's funny you said it because I was talking with uh, Jan, DDS, and, you know, we were discussing the pros and cons like this and how how it could be that, people didn't have social media yet got the fame and respect and it really was down to the work rate oh yeah <laughs> been like people that were all sitting or just yeah. painting lots of trends people seeing other writers seeing yeah the trends running yeah that's that's the real graph in it really that's how it was in new york wasn't it yeah it didn't i mean i know they had books that, like subway art and all that came out but really other writers just saw the trends running Mm. That's how people got known. Yeah, like seeing the the graph in in the flesh. Yeah, and and it's all surroundings as well. In in its surroundings, not on a little tiny picture on the internet. Yeah, you know you get to 
don't know. It too deep into things. <laughs> no, no, but we like it. And hey, you see, graphing. Uh, that, yeah, I work, yeah. Go on. Now I was thinking like the first start, like the first pieces I saw when I was a kid, like it was on Derelict Wasteland. Mm -hmm. Like the walls were just covered in shit. There was sofas and washing machines and just shit just dumped. It's all like glue sniffers scribble all over the walls and then there'd be a piece in that, but the piece didn't have a background or anything, it just but it stood out. But it sort of blended in as part like the the full picture was the artwork to me, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Like okay. using your location, the, the scenery. The environment. Yeah, the environment. Yeah, I'm not, my, my vocabulary is shit. No, no, but you've just painted a picture which I completely yeah. relate with. It's, it's to scoop it out. And it's, you know, it's the biggest uh, conundrum with exhibition work and gallery, uh, graffiti gallery exposes. It's, it's, you, you can't scoop it out of its environment. You can't, you don't get the atmosphere, the smell, the like, graffiti is always, not all graffiti, but like it's, you see it on trains, you see it wherever you see that train in the city and in, yeah. in the countryside. Yeah. Uh, you see graffiti on derelict buildings, wasteland, railways. That's just the best. To see, you know, that's the best thing, I think, when yeah. you see it, when you're on the train and you see it only for a couple of seconds. Yeah. You know, it's a skill that to do, like, trackside train graph. You have to do, like, quite... Um, Simpleish looking graph to be able to take it in in just a couple of seconds. Mm. Like you do a full color wild style on a track side and you go past it on the train at 100 miles an hour, you can't take it in. But you yeah. see, like you see it in London, like a lot of people that do simple, it looks simple, it's just got a bit of, mm. letters have just got a bit of a movement to them, mm. but you can take it in. Yeah, take it in because yeah, of the just, speed, the environment again. Yeah, yeah, that's, they've done that, you know, that style is to suit like fast. Taking it in in just a few seconds. Mm. I, I love all that. Like this, yeah. quite deep. You can go into it. Like, can't totally. you really? And and you know what we're talking about here is this side of, you know, track sides or locations that again uh, reflect the environment. And yeah. if you really go deep enough into it, and you say to yourself, well, the council don't want it. Yeah. The people that own it aren't looking after it. They're disowning it. Yeah. Look at all this mess. Look at this. You know, the the writers are almost like, well, I'll have it then. Yeah, yeah. We'll take it. We'll make it. It makes it look good. Yeah. Well, the the way well, authorities say it makes it look. They say it, it makes me laugh. They say it makes old people scared when they walk down alleyways. <laughs> not the smell. Old people, oh, people should not be floor. walking down alleyways. Full stop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Don't walk down alleyways. <laughs> Get a taxi. Did unless you're looking for glue. Don't bother. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we didn't go nowhere. Uh, yes, it's. Uh, but all that people don't see that. Like graph writers do, but I like I love seeing graph in like derelict places. Mm. I just think it has a I love getting my photographs when I get all the shit around it, the rust on the metal and oh, broken yeah. windows. Yeah, and the piece in the midst of that. I think that's for me. That's the full end result. Yeah. If I do a piece, getting that photograph like that. I've yeah. got a big up Snuck as well because Snuck actually he he's all about the picture. Yeah, isn't it? You, you know what I'm saying? This guy he will take that's a guy, yeah. yeah good man. He he'll take he'll take the pic pic piece, picture within its whole environment. That's what I do. You kind of taught me that as well, big ups like, yeah. That's, that's how I got into graph. Yeah. That's that's what got me into graph, is seeing, I saw that whole thing. So like, I mean, I, I get all my photographs developed for 30 odd years, every one. Developed, yeah. They're all in albums from, from when I started, all in order. That's wow. The, but that's always like the finish, the end result, if you know what I mean. You must so have like the then most sit, comprehensive yeah, it gets a bit of a ball out trying to put everything in order, and then you lose all. I've lost so much stuff, you know, with Dibble and all that. Really? Uh, oh, yeah, because yeah. of Raiden and that. Oh, the bastards. But, yeah, they took loads of my stuff, and really? they've, they've rang me up and they've, like, took the piss out of me saying, oh, we're burning it. And They've called you up threatening that they'll burn it? I, got, I had a case where it got dropped, and then but when I got, I got arrested for something that want to do with graph, and then I hadn't been doing anything for a while, so I had some stuff in the house, which uh, I didn't use it, but because I wasn't doing stuff, I had some stuff in the house, and they raided my house, got this all load of flicks, and I got arrested for quite a lot of criminal train train pieces. And it went on, on for three years, I was on bail for three years, and then it got dropped due to lack of evidence, and then 
in the interviews, they said, oh, all this stuff you found in your house, it's, oh, it's not mine. I was looking after it for someone. Uh, anyway, when the case got dropped, this copper rang me up at my house. He rang me up on my landline. He said, oh, just to let you know, I'm going to burn all your stuff. I said, oh, can't, can't I have it back? He says, oh, you said in the interview, it's not yours. I thought, oh, I'm just not going to say it then. He was just winding me up because he knew it meant so much to me. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Just a little knife in the... British in the Transport Police. That, they were like the Sweeney. The tricks they pulled. Really? Ah, oh, yeah. Give me some more examples. Give me we talking back in the day. I mean, Don't try this shit at home, by the way. You know, it's 2023 right now, you know what I mean? Don't want to get hurt or anything. You know, rest in peace to all the soldiers, you know? So. Yeah, and my stories about like London and all, but they're only minor, like, just little tricks to just pull you in just for nothing. Just, we know everything. Like, once I was in town, I had a camera. And they just stopped me and said, all right, rest in here for handling stolen goods. Said, what? This camera, it's nicked. It wasn't nicked. Kept me in cells all night. All night. And then let me out in morning. said, oh, yeah, we don't believe it, isn't it? Now we're just letting you go. And they kept doing that loads of times, just... Pulling me in spray, I had spray paint once on me, stopped me, right, getting you for intent, put me in cells again all night, then let us out in mind and said, oh, we've got no evidence, so we let you go. But now you'd be able to get a claim in. People would have a... Why do they challenge you like that? What, what's the... Because I knew we were doing stuff, but we kept... They couldn't get us, because <laughs> we didn't... Oh, so they were looking for other... Yeah. Trying to, yeah. The, it was quite funny looking back. The, the, yeah, the tricks, they're like... They're, they hit a few. They hit one of my mates once when he got raided by police. Punched him in the face. Uh, had a few like, not fights, but it got a bit aggressive. Really? Yeah. Then the now it all gets kept under, under cover. You never hear of it. No. And you can't say out. No. I, I, every time I got raided, there was about eight coppers coming. Fucking eight. Yeah. What time do they normally they come me, in? Like once, early. Once they raided my house. They, and they asked me to make them a cup of tea. Yeah, I was just... To, to, yeah, eight, yeah, yeah, I had to make eight coppers a cup of tea. Stop it. Me and my brother, yeah. Well, was right, it, were, it? They, were they overly familiar that like they knew you? Oh, yeah, yeah, just took piss, just went all around the house. It was my mum and dad's house, which I'm ashamed of. Mm -hmm. uh, got their house raided a few times, but... Got me a part of graph, innit? <coughs> Do out about that, can you? Yeah, I, we have a lot of stories about, you know, that, that kind of level of... That it'd be worse down here, like what? Let's like, say my story's out. No, nah, not at all, not but, at all. It's all the same, bro. It's all the same. They took it serious up there, they were obsessive yeah. about it. Like, there was one copper, I won't say his name, but he he was obsessed with graph and catching people. He, he'd do it on a, a, in his spare time, you know, he just live for it. They called him the Terminator, it's just, just uh. An animal, a beast. Yeah, he sounds weird. He sounds like, sounds like, sounds like the kind of guy that would be Fucking pulling legs parasite. off. Yeah, he'd pull legs off flies if I he, think he got when sacked. he was younger or something. I think he got sacked or something. I heard he got sacked. Uh, then another one went on to... Another one that got me. He, was, uh, he went on to... In fact, I won't say. He does something to do with television. Like, he's on television, actually. Really? Yeah. What now? He was on that Discovery Channel. Really? Something. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Google that. <laughs> but you've always, dude, you've always become, I mean, you know, stay on the television thing, because like you say, you're, you're a private person. You don't, like, you, don't, you don't like your graph to be kind of like everywhere. So, so pole vault straight through to the early two, to 2000s and uh, you're all of a sudden on Crime Watch. Yeah. That's crazy. So what the fuck happened there? It's just that stupid fucking Harry Potter trend. <laughs> yeah. the, the, was it Fog, Hogwarts? Was Hogwarts it? Express. Incredible. But, <laughs> what the fuck happened? <laughs> first out, apparently someone else had done it before us anyway. All right. But we didn't do it because we we had we'd got paint to do an old car that night, and then we yeah. couldn't do it. Yeah. And I'd seen these things laying up, these old heritage. Normally we didn't do heritage trains. I don't agree with doing heritage because no. the the fund themselves. But these ones on by Warner Bros. Anyway, so it doesn't matter. But. Yeah. Anyway, so we did that just because there was no else to do. Yeah. So we walked in, climbed a fence that was about about that high, mm. three, four foot high. Okay. Walked in, took step ladders in, had video camera. Mm. Spent about an hour and a half in there. We did an old car. My mate did a panel. Just we just hung about, you know, smoked, yeah. you know. Uh, went got flicks. Went um went back next day. Got daylight flicks. It was just easy. Chilled. You know, Three days later, it's on 
in, I think it was on the third page or something, at Sun and Star and... Newspapers, all yeah. big papers, and it said, scaled bar uh, thugs, scaled barbed wire fences, avoided CCTV, and uh, vandalised his train. It, they put it on, it was on the news, on television, like the local news, and they interviewed these kids from, these little kids at like six, who were at this school, over the road, and they're saying how upset they were by it. And they made it really dramatised it, made really? it out to be real bastards. Really? All we've done is just painted this train that we didn't think was anything. I didn't know it was anything to do with Harry Potter. No, no. no. Well, you wouldn't, would you? Oh, I, I didn't want to... I mean, I don't want to be remembered for that, like you said, on a lot of... No. Well, trains. you're not, are you? No. But, uh... but what a funny set of circumstances. And isn't it funny how the, the knife is twisted by the media? Oh, they love it. Pulling it's, on the heartstrings. You, you can see how... What goes on, like, when you read stories in the news, like, you say how it must be over-exaggerated and how they get other people's... other people to comment on it, just to, you know, to make it worse, like getting some six-year-old kids. Yeah. So then everyone makes it out even worse, like, we've not just painted a train, we've actually upset six-year-old kids. Yeah, oh, Which probably indeed. never, ever went on that train at all. One yeah. said, oh, it's a joyride. You can tell he's never been on it. You know what? And it's a fuck. It's a well, train. So you go on it every weekend. Or yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. If you showed it, it, it cost about fifty quid to go on it. There's no way. You've never been on it once. Never mind going on it every. Probably weekend. didn't even see the graph neither. <laughs> if he was to see the graph on the train, he'd be like, well, "Yeah, it's I, only I'll on one carriage. Yeah. There's about fourteen of them." I love a bit of that. Just don't look at that Harry Potter. <laughs> Just there's a real magic that. right there. You yeah. know. <laughs> yeah. So th yeah, that's that was uh, seen into how the media just totally rips you to bits and makes you look worse than. Banksy comes along, doesn't it? It's all yeah. uh, oh, yeah, it's great. It's secretive and no one knows who it is. So it's, mm. that's acceptable because it sells. Mm. I was, I don't know, news for a day on it, and then that was it. It's all, it's, uh, it's, it's all chip paper. You know, that's just the way it is. Yeah, today's news, yes. No, what is it? Yesterday's news. Yeah, yesterday's news is today's newspaper. Tomorrow's news. Tomorrow's but, yeah. chip paper. Yeah. yeah. It, it, you've, in a way, you, you've tasted the fruit of that and how it can be manipulated. There's another person that springs to mind, is um, Big Up Fister, Aye. who also had that. Oh, yeah, they made them out to be... as well. Yeah, they make them out to be not just graffiti. They're, like, they're called as thugs, like, and yobs. Mm. They're called Fister, king of the graffiti yobs. Like, what, what graffiti writers back then? With, I know now yeah. you've got kids that have... You know, but back then, we were jobs, artists. Yeah. yeah. Trying to be secretive and not being on. Yeah, yeah. Be private. 100%. They make, but they can say what they want and no one can correct them. Yeah. No one can put them right and people buy the papers because they love it. Yeah. They love drama. Like they love Coronation Street and that, don't they? Yeah, they yeah. They love drama. <laughs> <laughs> um, but as the tide changes and the impression of graffiti... You know, being utilised as a as a um, gentrification act that you know it's the broken window effect is yeah. now this make a beautiful art piece on your street and business then, business yeah yeah money money maker in it yeah. yeah so there is this like juxtaposition this oh, yeah. almost two worlds where they accept that they don't accept yeah this. it's certain graph and it's like these like Banksy I'm not criticising him. Just saying, like, is that step to certain that certain ones they could use? Like, Banks is big, is like a big business, isn't he? Not just for him, but for the media, they make shit loads of money out. And don't they keeping his his uh, his face and name out of it that sells mm. Banksy, doesn't it? Yeah. If his name was put out there, it suddenly wouldn't be as worth as much, would it? Mm. The secrecy is the idea of him balaclava and all that. Mm. That sells it. Mm. Everyone, all the public that I speak to, that that's what. Interest him about him, innit? Like if he's an artist with a name and a face, it's all of a sudden it won't mean that. The intrigue. Yeah, and plus it's graffiti, it's a criminal act, but it's not criminal because he do not get done for it and he's allowed to paint on anywhere. Mm. So other people that are copying him are coming along now, aren't they? Like some, I won't say, but like other people, and they're, they're not getting done, but you go write a tag. Mm. And that's the same while you get arrested. But do you think that, you know, because big up Banksy, like there is a commodity out there now for graph there's an, there's an audience for it that maybe wasn't there or understood it quite so much perhaps one thing that he has done is inspired the intrigue of not knowing who 
that person because that's yeah. graph as a whole yeah yeah you know everyone's a daft punk you yeah. don't know who's underneath the, the helmet no you don't want to really you don't want to you shouldn't but, yeah because yeah. the more they do it the more fun it is yeah yeah <laughs> yeah i think like i said about criticized but i think banksy has took the piss out of art collectors and the mainstream yeah the media like all these art collectors buy his artwork just because it's worth money yeah. And it's got this, that thing to it. Yeah. But he takes a piss out of him, doesn't he? Like, he's selling pictures on the street in New York. When he canvases for real cheap and no one bought them because they thought they were that cheap, he's saying something there, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, saying yeah. You, if it ain't late priced at 20,000, it ain't worth buying. No, that's it's right. It's three quid on the street. He takes a piss out of all these art, all these art collectors that have his stuff. They're all, they're made him rich, but it's proved there's an art in that. Yeah. In itself, I think. Tongue in cheek, the yeah, whole way it's through. Proved that, it's proved the art world what yeah. it, for what it is. Yeah. But with it, people still don't see it. No. Well, people celebrate that. That's why they celebrate the likes of Banksy, because it celebrates the, 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 the hypocrisy and weirdness of the, the pompousness of art. But then on the opposite end, he is selling for a pound the same things that people yeah, yeah. are selling. But, you know, but actually... You know, it, they're real. You yeah. know, you, you, you're just not looking yeah, deep yeah. enough. And he, make, he makes statements, don't he? But I think people still take them the wrong way, don't they? But I don't know. Yeah. It's, uh... it's a funny one, isn't it? The whole street art phenomenon. And you having spent a life, a career, a career's worth in graph yeah. for all this time. And and like you're saying, you, your pieces, sometimes you, you, you may have done like, 10 plus in a month mm. and only two get seen if yeah, that yeah. like you you really you you live that life yeah yeah you'd, you'd do a piece and then you go and look at it I remember like for the first 10 years painting trains just in one place you know we'd do it go go back the next day catch it running get photos and that was it didn't think there was anything else to it mm. you know people other people seeing it mm. That, I mean, I like that. It's quite pure, if you know what I mean. Mm. Not before doing something, I'll straight away get on, get it on Instagram so I can mm. get it out there. Mm. Keep, keep going back every two minutes, seeing how many likes it's got. Mm -hmm. Hey, it's got 20 now, it's going up. I'll just <laughs> <a> comment. <laughs> more, 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 more. Yeah. Talk to me about the uh, Yorkshire scene. So with with you coming in at a time, we're we must be talking about 92, 93, uh, late eight, I was 1990, late, late go, 80s, yeah. 1990. Right, so you I were just started. coming in. And what was the scene like back then? In Scarborough, it was good. Yeah? Yeah, there was there was some good writers. Yeah? Again, they were like us. They were underground. They were, Scarborough was cut off, but uh, they were, they had con they, like connection with York. There was crew with MTV, Mad Transit Vandals. Mm -hmm. some, I think people in London were in it as well, like Error. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Uh, he was in it. Um so that was a, they painted with the crew in Scarborough, which is TMC, which is the misguided children. Mm -hmm. And they they were in MTV. There was Kiss, uh, Ask a Posh. Um, they were all doing it when I started. They were what I got influenced by. <laughs> but they they were out of out of the scene. You know, they weren't getting in the magazines or the fanzines at the time. Mm. There's fanzines like black and white photocopies that. Went round and each time someone got it, they photocopied it again. <laughs> Crane here. I had one, it was just like a, a sheet of A4, you couldn't see it. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Just like some grey indentations on it. Yeah. Uh, that, yeah. They all, they like, like Kister kept going. Uh, I got mates with him, he, he's, I learnt a lot of him. Um, uh, Posh, he died in He was brilliant, uh, underrated. Well, not underrated, just one known. Mm -hmm. You didn't get known, it no matter, it could be brilliant, but yeah. no one would know no. of you. You paid a million old cars in a day, and no one would know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it's all the it's the process of doing it. It's the art in the art in the. That's from, the thing. People the just you did it to go to bed. Yeah, people did it, and the, all you could do is go and look at that piece, that, and it stopped there. It didn't go any further. And there's no fame, no, yeah. no image. You didn't get no credit or anything. That, that's like a pure art form to me. Yeah. Any other art form is done to sell or to show off. No, like, I can't think of any other art, apart from people that maybe paint watercolours at home for a hobby and they don't show it to anyone. But, like, 
compared to all of other art forms, it was was done just for done for yourself and for other people that were the same mentality as you. Mm. I think so I know my graph isn't widely liked, but I know the people that do like it are the, on the same level as me. <coughs> Top end. Yeah. Does it get does it get frustrating though? And this is by no means you know a double barreled question um, because I'm from I'm from a very remote location in the UK. I'm not originally from London, so I understand the, the core principle of what I'm asking you, and I hope it, hope it translates right. But do you ever feel like <clears throat> uh, because of the remoteness and all the time in which you've been doing graph, do you feel like your voice doesn't get hurt. Does it does it fester inside a bit? Does it get frustrating that that, 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 that there's do you have there's so much more to give, but it can be quite restrictive. Yeah, a bit like you don't exist. And it's always been like that. I think like especially where we come from, like Manchester, Sheffield, Newcastle, they're all cities, so they get people get known from there. If you you know what I mean. Oh, yeah. They have an impact on the grass scene. Yeah. Like we we never mattered. We couldn't. No, no one's interested in this guy, brother. No, but does that <laughs> make you? Does it make you more aggressive? No. No. Does no. it make you want to f- get a f- go harder? I mean, you do obviously, but uh, no, not really. No, I don't. I think I've always done. So I've never been one that like smashes it. I've always played it carefully, like just do a few bits and then lay low. But that's from living where we live. Mm. You couldn't. You smashed it. You, you, you'd be in prison. Yeah, 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 real quick. Down here, it's all right. You can do. You got shitloads of yards and layups, aren't you? Mm-hmm. you can do a train every day. A few yeah. trains if you want. Yeah. I've always, if you want, I've always, but you don't have to. This is not what this is about. This is a nice program. No, I've always, I've always liked to be safe. Like I do a bit and then lay off it a bit. It's you're risking getting caught out if you're doing it all the time, mm. which is what a lot of kids do. They come along, batter it. Mm. They don't have a break. It's just common sense, isn't it? Have a yeah. break. Don't... It should hot it up. It gets too hot. Yeah, yeah, it does, doesn't it? And then they get busted and you never see them again. Don't they? A lot. Yeah, they do. Really, really overnight oh, success. They, they totally batter it so they get a big sentence and then that sort of wrecks them then after that. Mm-hmm. As you just... I say I've, ne- I'm not, I've never like totally battered it like people down here. Mm. But uh, I've, I've done a fair bit. Yeah, you have done a lot. Like th- I've not done as much as I'd like to do, but for me it was always about doing the piece, not, it was never about counting how many trains or what systems I've done, or yeah. ticking lists, I've done this, done two, done whatever. No, just keep it moving. Just wanted to paint trains. Yeah. See, the, get my photograph like the same before, getting the picture, the photograph, the people in the wind, sat in the window, the whatever scenery. Yeah. That's That was it, really. A lot Now it's all about ticking off systems, Mm. And, and showing that you've done them systems, it's not worth for bragging it. rights. For yeah, yeah, yeah. A like, lot people are just doing. A lot of people are just doing stuff just so they can say I've done this, I've done that. I've done loads of stuff. I don't have to. Don't feel how to point it out. You know what I mean? Mm. If, <laughs> if that makes sense. Yeah, it does make sense. Best bit about the north for me, and not all the north. I'm a huge north fan, by the way. Um, the bleakness. And then when you see the piece, you could be coming in from somewhere, I know a bunch of times, um, getting into Birmingham especially, but, you know, you go up towards Leicester, um, Peterborough, you go, York's another one, you go into, you know, you're heading, you know, the further up you go, the more, uh, um, the more dank things. Frostier. Yeah, frostier. (laughs) And then you see these pieces... I don't know. As a as a head, I always think to myself, "Yeah, good. This pe- my people are here." Oh yeah. Because as soon as you see the graphics, like, okay, yeah, we're, we're okay. We're oh, not. Yeah, it's everywhere. Yorkshire's got yeah, some yeah. mint writers. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah totally. Yeah, so. it's, um, dedicated writers that are stuck with it. Yeah. Not you know, there's loads of writers up there. Okay. Yeah. But they're not as like I said because they're not down here. They're not as known, but they're still doing it. Yeah, exactly. But like like Risk, Mist, Dares. Yeah. Uh, who else we got? Give, give us some more names because you know these are people who've just been on a podcast. You understand? You can check them all out. Five hundred episodes. Get in. Uh, Hack Ogre, Think Dyson, Fister. Uh, Fister. I don't know Fister, Fister. but uh, uh, Dent, 
uh, Dave. Uh, uh, I can't think. Mine goes blank, doesn't it, when you put on spot? So. You're on spot. That's why you had the sheet with the shout outs, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Left him at home. Yeah. There's uh, EH, uh, basic. Um, mine's just gone blank again. It's crazy how many. It's that light. It's making me. Yeah. Bray lights. <laughs> No, he spent spared on the tech, you see. Um, it's just a wealth. It's a wealth of talent up there. Like crazy there's, levels. It, I mean, if you go Newcastle, there's Vigo and yeah, Amo, right. Vosp. Uh, well, I won't go on. It's sicker. Sicker, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, man. Uh, I won't name him because you'd be there all day, wouldn't I? Well, yeah, <laughs> and, and it becomes one big shout, but it's yeah. the truth. It's, um, it's one of the biggest, best-kept secrets is, is the UK scene. It is. Eyes, you know eyes, I mean? Nick, uh, Nick, Nikos and Eyes. Nikos and I, Scar is wading in um, Nikos and I's. What, for, where are they? Where about? Where about? Sunderland. <coughs> Sunderland. Durham. Wow. County Durham. Yeah, yeah I's is mint. Yeah. It's been around years. Yeah, it's yeah. not like it, is it? No. It's like quite symmetrical. That, but... that canvas has got in the hallway. Yeah. It's That's, I've got a stone hand to one. Big canvas. Yeah. From I's. Yeah, it's incredible. Yeah, it's oh. real creative, isn't it? Yeah. For his timers, but back in the 80s. Mm. Yeah. Early 90s. Yeah, hip hop connection. That's yeah. Hip hop connection, yeah. yeah. Nottingham. Oh my God, let's not. Pops Nottingham 100. crew. Pops oh, 100, KI of course, crew. yeah. KI. Oh. That's right, like legendary, legendary fucking play. Like yeah. eras and times of graph within the UK. Oh, yeah. The, the 80s and 90s. I mean, I wasn't part of that scene, the Nottingham and all that, but obviously I know of Pops and Cruel and. Yeah. The uh, term. Uh, there's loads of writers, loads of people I won't ever know of. The ICA. Yeah, um, I, uh, race I'll see. from Barrow, and then, yeah. but race moved down here, and then because there was race down here mm -hmm. that died, mm -hmm. uh, rest in peace. He yeah. changed his name to Error. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he did loves, didn't he? Error. Mm -hmm. He just died, didn't he? Last yeah, year. Yeah, he did. Rest yeah. in peace. You know. Yeah, I think he was mint. Yeah, yeah, he was. One yeah, of my favourites. Yeah, bruv, and you know, big shout out to to all the soldiers that have fallen for real. Yeah. Um, Ray's as well. You know, um, to you. Yeah, man. Um, ILC. I did shout out I L C from um, oh, in Loving Colour. Yeah, yeah. Crazy, crazy crew from Nottingham. Yeah, I don't, I don't know any of them. I, I know of more like uh, that killed in action platoon crew. Yeah, yeah, and all yeah, them yeah, up, yeah, yeah, Like yeah. what they did. Golden yeah. eras, man. Golden eras. Is that what your fault? Is that what your folders of photos contain mostly? Like that kind of era. Yeah. God, that's good. The eighties, nineties. It seems to be in a book, bro. Yeah. Yeah. It's been a book. I like I like the tooth. I like all the all the time. Yeah. <laughs> uh, there's a better way of saying that, aren't there? I like all the time. Different I like all time. All the different <laughs> all, the, all the areas, yeah. I like the I like the early two thousands to late two thousands. That was my favourite. Mm. I think. Mm -hmm. I think because in the nineties I was, I want shit. But I say coming from Scarborough, we're out of touch with styles. We did. We every now and then you get a magazine, any pop connection, or a graphitism. So you have to mm. get graphitism through. You had to do that postal order thing, didn't you? Yeah. And then you had to do it yeah. on slides. You know, I think what mum and dad were saying, I was getting the graffiti magazine. I can't remember how I did it. How I got I got one. I think I got someone else to order it. Mm -hmm. So it was the only time you'd see graph. Yeah. Like, no one realises how cut off we were. Like, the cities, they had to see what's going on in London. Yeah. Like, the, you know, we were just cut off. We didn't see, I didn't, we were so out of date with styles. Mm. I mean, that changed in the early 2000s. Got of course, yeah. Started seeing what was going on and then got doing our own stuff. That era, that early 2000s oh, era. Look, that's my favourite era. The, the 3D that was popping. Yeah, and, and everything the was simple just... simple styles yeah, that put, were cleverly put together. Yeah. So that I was saying before, you see like some simple shapes organised, but you could take it in in a few seconds on a train. They were my favorite. That's yeah. my favourite era. I also like the the, uh, the late nineties era of Nima and I, the TPG era, as well. Yeah, all that. Uh, it was Carl Arnick. Yeah. Uh, all that stuff. Yeah. All that era. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Late nineties, early two thousands. They were fucking mint. So blessed. Right? What they so did on a mist. Yeah. Yeah, mist. On, what they did on trains. That's right. The fuck it was. They all had their own style, but it all suited the train. The trains, you know, it yeah. looked wrong. Yeah. But it, it it looked illegal. Yeah. You see a lot of trains now. Some of them, I'm not criticising them. Like a lot of them, bright colours and wild styling, mm. like the like mist and Carl and all that. The stuff it looked ugly. It looked wrong, but mm. in a good way. Mm. It mm. looked I illegal. Like yeah. it wasn't meant to be on that train. Yeah. It like enhanced the fact that it was illegal. I think it was. Yeah. A, 
Oh, that's something I gold about, about it, man. I agree. There's something gold about it. Yeah. That, you never see that again. No. Like, hold no hostage magazine, bomb alert. Yeah. You look on it, every writer's got their own style. Yeah. You look now, if there was a magazine came out now, it'd, it'd be like, spot the difference. <laughs> I remember getting a like, gra- graphism through the post and you held it like the Bible. It was just like, yeah, yeah. this is the only place where you're going to fucking see this real shit. It's like, yeah. you know, you kept it with your I was just life. reword what I said then. I didn't mean all writers' stuff looks the same now. I didn't. No, no, no. It's like when you're on the spot. Caveat. I'm saying what I think, what I thought of before. But like, yeah. There's loads of writers doing the same style, copying like Dondi and other people. It all looks the same. Like, oh, look at that E with that big bend in it, a, a K with a circle at the bottom. I'll shut up. No, no, carry on. It's your... <laughs> it becomes generic. Generic, yeah. generic. Well, yeah. late, late 90s, it looks at... But more original. Oh, no, I yeah. You can tell... Yeah, you can tell, yeah. Like yeah, I, like, I, lo- I loved all that. Mm. Like, you, you couldn't bite then. You couldn't even... If you did the one letter that looked like someone else's, you, you get exposed as biting. Yeah. Easily. So, like, you, had to, you had to make your own style, but it still had to fit in with, like, the, the fashion of the time. Yeah. You have to be clever. It's true. You know, I used to do outlines all the time. I'd be doing it. I think, oh no, that letter looks a bit like a, a car or something. Or yeah. Or did another. Oh, that looks a bit like a mist. But it probably didn't look anything yeah. like it. Just had one little bit of a twist in the letter that. That's right. Had the same shape. Just that one little thing. Yeah, yeah. Because letters were so simply put together. If you know what I mean. Yeah. You'd have what letters do all one thing. Not like a while style. It was all broken up and then arrows and connections and just one letter. Like misty, did did them ends like that? Oh yeah, yeah, with the kind of yeah, I know exactly. But then they just twist it about and put big bits thicker and thinner. Yeah, thicker and thinner. Well, that became the new rather than the block. The thicker and thinner thing really held a different, a a more loose um, bounce to to the letters, right? Then you had to get colours to suit it. Like misty, put like browns and. Yeah. Greens, orange, orange colours. Oranges, yeah. Like almost like seventies curtains or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But it looked art it, deco, so, yeah, no, jazz deco, yeah. It, it looked yeah. good, like it suited the it. suited the shape of the letter. Loved it. And yeah. no who else was doing that at the no time? It's fucking No. It, them styles to me were my influence. hundred percent. I used to love that. It's these sorts of in, pieces of intel that only a few would understand. Yeah. You can't just walk into somewhere and copy other people's shit. You've no, got you to can't. know the history. You've got to know yeah, the yeah. foundations yeah. and know what happened before, right? But the thing now is it's acceptable to copy because you've got so many people on the internet copying and they're, they're seen as celebrities to get thousands of likes. No one says out. Mm. Well, I also think they copy themselves so, so as well. When they a copy kid, the same thing all yeah, the time. Yeah, yeah. And when a kid's... So if I was a kid now starting a graph, I'd think, all oh, right, you don't have to be... I remember getting accused of biting in 1992 and it fucking scarred me. I was mm. devastated. I mm. nearly quit graph over it. I was that upset and ashamed. It said, what I'd done is I'd done an O and I'd put a bar across it. But what I didn't know back then was fucking everyone was doing that. It was a regular thing in Scarborough because one person had done it. Mm. And I never seen, didn't see a graph out. It was a big thing, but now it's... The kid starts now, it just thinks, oh, I could just copy that. Oh, everyone's doing that lettery, that bubble lettery. I'll just copy that. Everyone's doing that star thing. You get a round of applause for it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'll be a celebrity overnight. I've got to have an Instagram account. You got to have your graph been on the internet. Mm. It's it's a different. Th- it takes a different mentality to get into graph mm. that way. Mm. The people like us, I don't know, they'll still get into it. But they'll be slightly swayed by all this shit. You've got to be. Like mm. When I started, it was just a case of you didn't know anything. You didn't know who was doing stuff. Uh, you didn't know the names. You didn't know how to speak to them. Mm. You knew that you couldn't go over them or copy them you might get beaten in or whatever. You respected them as well. Mm. You loved their stuff. You wanted to, like, copy them but not copy them. Mm. Um, you know, you, you cared about other writers, what they thought about you. And you had to still, like, have your own unique style without being a biter. Even at, like, 13, I knew that. Mm. Not to bite. Well, I did bite, but mm. everyone did, didn't they? But Can't get away with it. You copied it. You'd bite, but change it into your way. Yeah, you'd so bite, but direct, yeah, yeah, I did influence, that. Influence, but not ripping it off. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You bite with influence rather than bite just yeah. plagiarize something completely. Yeah, I copied the. There was yeah. someone writing crime. Like no, I know everywhere in the eighties there was a crime. Someone was doing crime pieces in every, yeah, yeah. everywhere. But in the, there was someone did a crime piece in Scarborough, and I wanted. I just loved it that much. I thought it just sounds mint that word. I 
I can't copy it, so I wrote Prime. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Worked out well as well, didn't it? <laughs> I should have, should have, uh, I've that's it, now it's out there, isn't it? Yeah. And obviously, it didn't take long for me to be over Prime in London. Yes. Yeah. So, so, <laughs> so I had to start writing that way. Okay, even getting a word to sound like a word, to, like yeah. the sound of words like crime and like words sound, there's certain words that sound good, don't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's some that sound shit. Like if I could go back, I'd change my name. I don't think it has, it's one of them four letter names that everyone had, there was one in every town. Mm. I've had it for 30 years, so I it's a bit late. Mm. I've written other things that have a bit more Movement. attitude to them. Like a bit, a bit more attitude. A bit, yeah, like it sounds wrong. Yeah. yeah? Yeah, totally. When it's illegal, you see it on a train or something, it looks illegal. It, sound, it sounds illegal. Yeah, it sounds you know, nasty. Yeah, I like that illegal, the whole illegal style attitude yeah. like piece. Yeah, so do I. Not like a friendly fucking no. pink and lilac wild style. Yeah. The whole public are going to like I like it when the public see it and they... They don't like it. They're like, oh, look at that mess. Mm. Well, I like that portrait that someone's done over there, though. Mm. I like that. It keeps us where we are, doesn't it? Yeah. But I, yeah, yeah, totally. Keep keep graph nasty. Yeah. Yeah. The more evil, the better. Yeah. It's, for the, it's from the streets and the railways and the derelict buildings and you can't... I don't know, it suits them. I'm not saying you can't go and print a pretty picture on the railway lines. So I'm just saying that this is my own. Well, all this bit left to say, brother. Well, actually, let me just ask one more thing. Um, what, what, what do you want? What message do you want to? Yeah, that's it. What message do you want to send out to the people? Uh, be an artist, not a celebrity. Am I supposed to say what I can't that's think it, anymore? Yeah. That's it. Yeah. That just came out, that. that was quite yeah. good, that, wasn't it? Being an artist, not a celebrity. Yeah. 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 Don't matter if you've got 20,000 followers, it's whether if you're doing your own style yeah. and you're getting satisfaction from it. Yeah. If you're copying, you're not really getting artistic satisfaction, you're just getting celebrity. You might as well be on in the pop charts. Yeah. yeah. Like, what, what, what were you saying earlier? Like, like if you, if so that if your heart's in the right place rather than doing it for narcissistic reasons because you just want to be famous, you, you, you want to add something to the scene. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so rather than, yeah, not like narcissistic yeah, reasons. Yeah. It's all right wanting fame. Like, when I started, it never crossed my mind. I just thought I'm shit, I don't know anything. I, I can't get in touch with the people that are doing it. I can't find out any information. I just want to do it because I'd seen it on the walls with all this shit around it. And I just wanted to recreate that image of dereliction with a piece of graffiti in it. What I've always done, really. Same but do you it. think like it helped? It helped develop your style, didn't it? Oh, totally. Like, my style is to illegal. be so remote. And... Yeah, yeah. I like. I love it. The grime and the shit. That's what everything comes from. That's like painting trains. You know, the same thing. You're seeing it in an environment that it's not meant to be in. Mm. I think the derelict environment is. I find it really satisfying. It just looks wrong. Well, you see a piece with all tags around it and there's, the piece is filled in, but it's got no background or anything, It's but it's still separated. Mm. So like, the whole wall is your piece with all the tags and shit around yeah. it and the washing machine and that just... <laughs> and the rust <laughs> yeah. and the corrugated iron and that. I like the, the that. Shoe That's the whole yeah. image for me. That's how I saw graffiti. That's how it is. I don't think these kids have that. They, some will, but mm. it, it's just about being a celebrity, I think. I love it. You've completely captured my imagination with that theory and philosophy. I think it's great. Yeah. And, and spec, man. Thank you so much for passing Thank through you. the podcast, brother. Thank you very much for what having me. What an absolute result. Thank you. Deep chats have been the podcast this week. Come on, baby. You know what it is. Uh, thank you so much, brother. And, you know, we continue the journey. Uh, sharing is caring. Tell a friend to tell a friend, all right? Street culture is in safe hands over here. Crime don't pay, but neither do they, all right? So don't talk to anyone I wouldn't. You stay lucky, people. Peace. Yeah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>